We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Tampa Bay Rays. The Yanks have won five games in a row. They'll look for number six right after this. Yanni Chirinos will be the starter for the Rays in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Wow, talk about a number that jumps out at you. This guy's whip, which is walks to hits to innings pitch, is less than one coming into this start. That's not an easy thing to do. That tells me one thing. Not only is his stuff good, but he wipes people out quick. This is a real good pitcher. Here's Brett Gardner now, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Brett Gardner. He's set. Here it comes. No offer at that one. It's a cold strike. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Rays entering play here tonight. They come in playing reasonably well of late, though they have dropped their last two in a row. Yeah, Matty B, we're looking at a team right now. They're just playing some average baseball through four games of this homestand. They split it two and two, Dero, and I think they expect a little bit more. Yeah, and you don't want to be playing average baseball in front of your home fans. They need to find a way to win this game and, and, and try and take three out of the first five of this homestand. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Oh. Well, and he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And it's fouled away. Three and two to the Yankees center fielder. Boy, not what you want coming out of the gate as a pitcher, right? You don't want to have to show all of your pitches this early on in the game, but that's a quality at bat. And what does it make you do as a pitcher? You have to use a lot of your pitches, and the more pitches a hitter sees, the better chance they have to make good contact. The bouncer to the left side, reined in. And the throw on the first will take care of him, so he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. The one away. DJ Lemayhew. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring in DJ LeMayhew. Here's the first pitch to him. Liner towards second, but there to take this one is the second baseman, and that's out number two. Batting third, the right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judd. Coming to the plate now, Aaron Judge. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. He's set and the pitch. Mind drive, base hit to right. And this one will bounce into the wall. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Take a look at this right here. He didn't get jumpy and try and pull it down the left field line. Stayed in there, fought hard, and grinded out a nice knock the other way. Giancarlo Stanton now. And he fouls this one off. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. Oh, one pitch coming. Hey, I know we're only in the top of the first, but back breaking blows are those two out runners in scoring position knocks, and they have a chance to capitalize right here. Boy, Dero, you touched it on it right there. I think as a pitcher, you try to get through that. Meanwhile here, this ball's given a pretty good ride out to deep left field, and that is going to clear the wall, a home run.
A long two run homer off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton number 14 on the season and this is now a two to nothing lead for the Yankees. Love to homer in the top of the first inning give your pitcher a chance to kind of regroup and gather himself with an early lead. That is fair. The and now Mike Talkman. Mike Talkman. As he'll go after the first pitch and promptly line one into left center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. Boy, this is not the way you'd like to start an inning right here after that two-run bomb. Good. Another base hit, and this could get ugly real early. Yeah, there's a fight at the bat rack right now, Dan. He saw that two-run missile go out, and he was on point getting himself a knock. Into the box now, Gary Sanchez. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. The numbers coming in 278 the average, nine homers, and 22 RBIs. And it's 0 2 to Sanchez. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Clyde Washington. Yeah, Maddie, Clyde's my type of umpire. I didn't mind the low strike zone, and that's exactly what he has. If you're not going to give him above the belt, I'm okay with it. D-Row, you know one of the things, I guess, with Clyde is he is a real good low strike umpire. Pitchers seem to like him more than hitters, but one thing I will say, he has a very consistent zone. It's a low zone, but a consistent zone. The one-two. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Well, he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone, but I think he's caught on to their game a little bit right now. Two tough pitches that he took Three with ball. two strikes, Strike. and now the count is two and two. Three and two, full count. And the payoff pitch. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Strike three called as Clyde Washington's strike zone may have expanded a bit there, and the inning is over. Yankees get a couple on the two-run home run. Bottom of the first coming up. It's now 2-0 New York. Masahiro Tanaka, the right-hander from Japan, will get the starting assignment in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, it wasn't a great performance in his last start, but he did pitch well enough to earn the win. We'll see if he can turn in a little bit better performance in this one. Joey Wendell digs in now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And leading off for the Rays, the designated hitter, Joey. Now the pitch. And that misses ball one. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they come in riding a five-game winning streak, and they've really got things clicking. Yeah, Matty, this team's coming together right now. They're playing dangerous baseball. You can tell the look in their eye. They feel good about where they're at. They've won a few games in a row, and they look to continue that trend today. Swung on and hammered. No doubt about this one. Watch it fly. Boom goes the dynamite. So it's a solo home run to lead off the bottom of the first. Third home run for him on the year. And the Rays have cut this to a 2-1 ball game now. Boy, when this guy gets in the groove, he can hit him. And when he hits him, he hits him in bunches. Hit a home run in last night's game. And if they continue to pitch him on the outer part of the plate, look out. This guy's going to do some major damage. Stepping in now, Jose Martinez. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. The average at 284 to begin play. Four home runs and 22 RBIs.
Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. LeMahieu. Stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Batting third. The right field. Off there. Go. Standing in, Austin Meadows. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Man, as a pitcher, you have to love pitching 0 2. Multiple ways up, down, in and out, throw the breaking ball, a lot of different ways to get guys out. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. This inning didn't get started the way he'd hope with that home run, but I've got to give him credit for flushing it and coming back here to get strikeouts on the last two guys. He's acting like it didn't even happen before. So now to the plate, Brandon Lau. As he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. Looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Tanaka gets the sign. Here's the 0 1. Oh. Stole cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. And this pitch is looked at for a ball, and that'll even the count of the Rays' second baseman at two and two. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. Rays answer right back on the solo home run. Second inning coming up, and this is now a two to one ball game. Stepping into the box, Mike Ford, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Mike Ford. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And now a slider in on the hands, and he's lucky that one didn't come and get him. That swung on and missed were even at one and one. This one's chopped foul right at the plate. The count moves now to one and two. Swing and a miss got him reaching. Perez has it. And he makes the throw to first. Ford is retired, and there's one away. Here's Miguel Andohar now. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. First offering on its way. He looked like a caveman swing and a club on that one. It's 0 and 2 now. A shot down the first baseline. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him a base hit. Well, you know what? Good hitters are good hitters for a reason, D. Rowe. And to be able to hang in there on an 0-2 pitch and still be able to get a base hit, this guy's about as good as it gets. Yeah, I'm blown away by this guy, Dan. You wouldn't know if you showed up. You wouldn't know if it's 2-0, 3-1, 0-2. Counts do not matter. This guy trusts in his craft. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade. No balls and a strike to count. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250. One home run and 11 RBIs.
Comes set and the 0-1. Swing and a liner. And that's into the outfield for a one-out hit. Take a look at this again in slow motion. He tracks this thing all the way, gets his hands quickly through the zone, and just rips it down the left field line, just how they draw it up. So here's the veteran, Brett Gardner. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. Looking at his career totals, Gardner is exactly a 260 hitter. And a strike to even the count. One and one. And Duhar at second. Wade is over at first with one away. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees leadoff man. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Now the 2 1. Nope, that's down. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a 3 1 count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone, or do you just pitch around them? Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Line drive to left. And that's in there. Base hit. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base, and they're loaded with now one that. away. Boy, after that base knock right there, D-Roll, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. Keeping that front shoulder tough, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. Set with the 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0-2. Good luck with that pitch. That pitch is an absolute nightmare. Almost unhittable. Nasty downward action. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. That grounder was hard hit, and sometimes the runner at third will have to hold on a ball like that, but he was off on contact and they opted to take the out at first instead. Digging in for his second at bat, Aaron Judge. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to A.B. From the stretch. That's the ball. These guys hitting aren't in first place by accident. They excel at getting out to early leads, so this is a big moment in this game. If they're able to lengthen this lead any more in this inning, they're going to be in really good shape to come away with a win today. Count now a ball and a strike. Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. Wow, that's 40 pitches for him already. This doesn't have the makings of a start that he's going to go very deep. Runners at second and third with two gone. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Here's the two and two. Nearly got the inside, but okay. ruled the ball. Definitely in a tough situation facing the three hitter. You can work around him and maybe walk him to load the bases, but that just sets up the cleanup guy with the bases loaded. Good battle. Count remains full. Called strike three as he's rung up and the side is retired. Yankees forced to settle for one. 
On now to the bottom of the second. The Yankees lead this one 3 to 1. Jiman Choi, the next to hit. In past meetings with Tanaka, he's four for 14. He's also gone down on strikes five times. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. The windup and the 0 1. Not cheated on that swing, but the splitters by him 0-2. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s, down in the zone. Looks like a fastball coming, and then boom, the bottom falls out of it. Terrific pitch. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. I'll tell you, it's hard to get more of a confidence boost than striking out the best hitters in the lineup. Back to back to back. He's looking really sharp right now. Into the box, Willie Adamas. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. The 1 0. On a line, that's a base hit in the left field. He's around first, heading for two. And he'll reach second now with one away. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year. But you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. And that will bring in Yandy Diaz. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. First delivery to him on the way. Oh. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Let's we'll to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. The 1-0 pitch. Swing and a miss. Looked like the slider there. A ball and a strike. Ball low as he's able to lay off the slider. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty, but hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. The two and one on its way. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. Grounded weakly toward third. And that's the second out. Batting in, the center fielder, Kevin Kiermaier. Man at second here with two away, and that means Kevin Kiermaier will hit next. Tanaka pauses. Here comes the first pitch. One and Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. Throw won't get him. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Digging in now, Michael Perez. And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. First pitch of the at bat. Low for ball one. One ball, no strike. 
And now the runner's trying for third. Pitch is high. The throw. It skips in, and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. Well, that definitely caught me off guard there. That wasn't exactly the typical steal situation with two outs and a runner on second. I can't say I agree with the strategy, but at the same time, now he can score a lot of different ways. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. Men on third with two down. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Judge is going back. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. And he is in to second base with an RBI double. Now better. And That's time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. And that'll bring up Joey Wendell as Tanaka jumps ahead of him here at strike one. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Two out here and a runner at second. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike, too. And tight with the slider, two and two. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed, that's coming across the plate. You might think you got a shot to stay inside that one. The 2 2. Hit down the line at first. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2 and 2. Here's the 2 and 2. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball as it holds at 2 and 2. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll go now to the top of the third, and we are all tied at three apiece. Back with Mark DeRozan, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, and leading off the inning, the big right-handed slugger Giancarlo Stanton. From the stretch. This pitch is popped up. Choi is there. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now back. And with Let's one away, time for a Mark. check of the standings in the American League East as you get a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play. Stepping in, Mike Talkman, one for one after a single his first time up. Now here's the pitch. There's the sinker to start him out, missing down and away for ball one. That evens it up, one and one. Bases are empty, one man out. Sinker is right there for a called strike two. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Again, another foul ball. The one two. Oh, 
popped up. And he'll squeeze this one for the second out. Now batting the catcher, Gary Sanchez. At the plate, Gary Sanchez. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, and a borderline call, Matty. I don't know. I got to feel like he's got to build a rapport with this umpire, this A.B., see how far he'll go in or out. He can't allow himself to go down looking again. Lays off the sinker here, a ball and a strike. One and two to the Yankees catcher. Super important situation right here for the pitcher to go one, two, three. Get back in the dugout, regroup. He struggled early, but if he can knock out this one, two, three inning, I think he can right the ship. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And a good pitch here, but this is taken for a ball as the count moves to two and two now on the Yankee catcher. Two out, nobody on. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Ready with the two and two. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. And this is going to be a foul ball. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Through two and a half, it's three apiece. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now at the plate, Jose Martinez. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Jose Martinez. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh. Martinez hits right handed pitching very well. Makes a lot of contact, but he generally isn't known for displaying a lot of power. You'll see a lot of line drives and ground balls from him in these situations. Yeah, I almost think he has too good of hand eye coordination, Matty. Sometimes maybe just attacks that pitch that's not there to do major damage with, but could just drive it up the middle the other way and take his knock. That's what he's been able to do. Hit out towards second. Gloved by LeMahieu. And that's the first down. Now batting. Right fielder. Off there. Meadow. Now at the plate, Austin Meadows. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here. 1 and 0. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. The 1 0 home he is swung on and missed. Strike one. Look out, hot shot to third, and there are two away. Now battle, number eight. Now to the plate, Brandon Lau. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Here comes the first pitch. Bends into the zone, a strike on the breaking ball.
Tanaka gets the sign. 1 2 on its way. That's ball two. We're going to count two and two. Got him swinging. Made him chase outside the zone that time, and that puts an end to the inning. Rays go in order. One, two, three. We played three, and our score, three, three. We're back at Tropicana Field, and let's check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and flat out he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said he's been really happy with how many balls they've hit hard and on a line. Looking at the numbers, they've had seven total line drives, and even though some of those have resulted in outs, he says it's that kind of consistent contact that leads to W's in the standings. Okay, thank you, Heidi. The first so season. coming to the plate, Mike, Mike Ford looking Ford. to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And a strike called at the knees. Nothing and one. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruise shin or a ground out to the left side. A ball and two strikes now. On, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. So with that, let's call on the guys in the graphics department to put up the pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And you can see the top two pitch velocities here, 96 on one hand versus a still respectable 92 on the other. So one away here with the bases empty. And striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel Andujar. First delivery to him on the way. Slapped hard the opposite way. Meadows is there. Two down. Now batting. Shortstop. Tyler Wade. Next for New York, Tyler Wade. He reached on a single in his first try. He's set. Here it comes. Oh. You got to be careful with this guy here. He can really handle the bat. Even though there are two outs, he might try to drop one down for a base hit. Fouled off. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. One Three runs, six hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. So the Yanks go one, two, three. Through three and a half, we're all even at three apiece. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. And leading off. Stepping Over in, G-Man Choi. The He'll be the one to lead off against Masahira Tanaka. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Fouled away. The 1-1 home. 
is looked at for ball number two. I got two one to count. Two and two. Hey, I'd like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor, and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck out, and we're only in the second game of this series. Standing in now, Willie Adamas. And it's fouled away. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a liner. Foul. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there, guys. Third baseman number two, Yandy Diaz. To the plate now, Yandy Diaz. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And he fouls this one off. Swing and he pops him up. Ford in foul ground, but this will land untouched. Three runs, four hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ballgame, and that one ends the inning. Down in order go the Rays. Four innings in the books, tied 3-3. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Brett Gardner is working on a one for two game so far. He's set and the pitch. Pitch taken several inches below the zone in fact. Action in the Rays pen now as they've got a lefty and a right hander up and throwing. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2-0. Oh. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. Fouled off. Now the 2-1. Oh. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. Line hard to the left side, but foul. He's set. Here's the three and two down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. The payoff pitch one more time. And this is swung on and missed as Gardner's a strikeout victim one away. I'll tell you, he's showing no signs of tiring yeah, right man. now. Still looks razor sharp from what I can tell, so I think he might last a while longer if he can keep this up. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 and 0. Oh. No hits to this point. Oh. 
Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. Hit hard down the right field line, but foul. The 2-1 home. Hit the other way out toward right field. Meadows will drift over to his left a few steps as he takes it for the second out. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judd. Here's big Aaron Judge. A hit and two tries for him so far. From the stretch, here's the pitch. First pitch here is a sinker that runs a bit too wide. It's ball one. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. Well off the inside that time as the sinker misses for a ball. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Strike! Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind and count 3-2. Full count now. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Now a drive by Judge. Deep left field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. A solo home run there for Aaron Judge. Number 11 for him on the season as they take the lead 4-3. to three. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. As he'll take a look at a sinker here too low for ball one. He's one for two in this one. And that's a fair ball lined to the right side. And this one will bounce into the wall. And he will pull into second with a two out double. And he obviously didn't let last night's hitless outing get now to his head too much because that's his second hit of the ball game. This one double. I'm sure he's feeling a lot better about the way he's going right now. At the plate, Mike Talkman. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Right on, but this is foul down toward the box at third. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ballgame, and that ends the inning. Yankees do get one on the solo homer. Bottom of the fifth coming up. It's now four or three bombers. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck Lead out the side the last road. inning. How did they get to well, him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been Kiermaier. throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. First delivery to him on the way. Ooh. 
back up the middle. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Dan, how hard is it to massage your way through such a deep lineup? I mean, even the eight, nine hole hitters are solid big league players. You know, Mark, these days you're not seeing a lot of defensive specialists in the infield or outfield. If you're in that starting lineup these days, there's a pretty good job you could swing the bat. the stretch Michael Perez is at the plate as he looks at ball one he broke out the slide step there Danny yeah he's clearly thinking about the steal right here didn't happen but the cat mouse game continues on can't sit back long enough and the count evens up at one and one Perez is five foot ten inches tall bats left but throws right handed he was a fifth round pick back in 2011 Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. We're in the fifth inning of a four to three ball game here. And he popped him up, drifting back behind first. Lays himself out and makes a spectacular catch. Oh, and a highlight reel now catch back. there, no doubt. He laid out to sacrifice his body brought it in and secured it all the way to the ground. You know his pitcher really appreciates an effort like that. So Tampa's batting order turns over and set to go. Joey Wendell one for two with a solo shot that came back in the first inning. From the stretch. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Now the 2 0. -oh. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Not too many guys taking the mound today with this good a split. Look at the downward action on that thing, it's falling off the table. Now the 2 1 pitch. On a line, that's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now that No fuel. Okay. Okay. Into the box now, Jose Martinez. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0 and 2. Runners are at first and second with one away. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Gardner going back, but he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. Kiermaier rounds the corner and is headed home. Safe at the plate. It's a 4-4 game. When this thing left his bat, I started thinking it might have enough to get out of here. Didn't quite carry enough, but it does one hop the wall off the track, and he cruises into second with an RBI two-bagger. You'll take that every day of the week. It looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first, so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, and the force play is now in order. That's what's called getting the treatment. Everyone knows he's a power threat with the bat, so it's all about not letting him be the guy that beats you. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. Now a 
curveball knocked down at home plate. The runners will hold, but meanwhile, the count moves to 2 0. The bases are loaded with only one out. And now a called strike that time as the zone expands a bit here. It's 2 and 1 now. Oh, right down Main Street with that one. Two and two. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth that? strikeout in the this series season. alone. D-Man At the plate now, G-Man Choi, as he'll try and hold off the swing, but this one's in there for strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. He put himself in a good position, jumping ahead 0-2 with the bases loaded. Now we'll see if he can finish it off. Oh. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off 1-2. and two. While his last time out, guys were just flailing away at that slider. But tonight, completely different story. I think their approach coming to the play tonight was to lay off that pitch until he shows he can throw it for a strike. Two out, bases loaded. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Ready with the one, two. And he will strike him out. 10 now in the ball game, and the inning is over. A run for the race thanks to the RBI double through five innings, and we are tied 4-4. Brendan McCain is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. Brendan McCain. Digging in once again, Gary Sanchez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, Matty, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. Fastball that gets the inside corner, strike one. Borderline pitch right there. But as a low ball hitter, you can live with that as long as the umpire doesn't give him north as well. Now a swing and a miss, and things are not looking real promising here. Down 0-2. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in. Jam. Sandwich. Tried to get him to chase the cutter there. A ball and two strikes. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0-2 and work it back to an even count, got to feel like it's a win for the offense. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. From 0-2 to 3-2, what a great at-bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. That's an excellent at bat right there. Now, Fell behind early the one and two. Didn't Mike. panic or start chasing Four. pitches out of the zone. He's able to lay off three pitches in a row, and he's standing on first with no outs. 
That's a great job. Digging in, Mike Ford. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. First offering on its way. Now the 0 1. And that misses 1 and 1. Ground ball left side to second for one on to first to double play. It's hard to do anything with a pitch like that that's below the zone. And if you do do anything with it, most of the time, this will be the result, a double play on a good pitch down in the zone. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Here comes the first pitch. No, that's a ball. One ball, no strike. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Kiermaier on the run, but he won't get there. It falls in. Well, he was definitely struggling coming into this one, but I think we can say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. Into the box, Tyler Wade. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. So far this season, Wade is exactly a 260 hitter. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. Swing and a miss, 2 and 1. Sure took a healthy hack that time. 4-4 four, four is our score as we play the sixth. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. Brett Gardner would be next if they can keep this inning alive. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Now that. The center fielder. Right. Now at the plate, Brett Gardner. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Oh. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. The 0 1 offering. Oh. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. A couple of walks, but no damage. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Digging in to try it again. Willie Adamas. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. 
0-1, here it comes. Hey! You got to cover the whole plate now after letting him steal two strikes on the inside half. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside now corner, it. it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That Beyond one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Stepping in now, Yandy Diaz. Fouled away. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. And that misses downstairs for a ball, 1 and 1. One out, nobody on. Strike two, swinging just out in front of the slider. The one-two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Hit out towards second. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Dan, I'll tell you, it doesn't matter what it looks yeah, like right there. That Better lawn good. dart felt so yeah, good. Oh, dear, yeah, this guy's girl. been due. He really needed that one. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer as he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. One of the big keys to pitching well is getting ahead early on, and it's been far from that for this guy so far. Less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Lays off the slider, and it's one and one. Runner at first here, one man out. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Tuckman is back to the warning track and he's able to put it away for the second out. Now batter, number seven. Now batting, Michael Perez. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. First pitch on its way. And, oh, looked inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. Well, the shortstop's got him played perfectly as he takes this in for the third out. One left for Tampa. Six innings are in the books, all square, four to four. Colin Poche is on to pitch from now the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 38, Dollar Poche. And that sends DJ LeMayhew into the box. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. The second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. Here comes the first pitch. Line drive base hit. Check that out right there. I love me some of that. Staying inside the baseball, moving it the other way. Sometimes a pitcher can execute his pitch. It doesn't mean the batter can't grab a knock. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. He's two for three with a home run and a double. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Now a southpaw up to throw in that Tampa Bay bullpen. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss.
One and two now as that one's fouled off. Go ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? On to first, and you can forget about the go-ahead run being on base. He's erased on the double play. Now, boy, that's about as easy as it comes. A chopper, two-hopper, turns into a tailor-made 4-6-3 double play. Base is empty now after the double play. And next will be the imposing power bat, Giancarlo Stanton. First pitch of the at bat on its way. The 1-0. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. The 1-1. One, one. All knotted up, 4-4 the score here in the seventh. The Lays off game. the breaking pitch, and it's three balls and a strike. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. The 3-1. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. Now the payoff pitch home. And he lays off, ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. Digging in now for the Yankees, Mike Talkman. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, that's high. Two out with the possible go ahead run at first. Two and zero oh to the Yankees left fielder. Too old to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. Has a look, now the pitch. Ball three. And he misses with it, ball four. So the potential go-ahead run moves into scoring position now. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed, and now the inning continues with the man in scoring position. Big spot here, first and second, two men gone. And the next to bat, the Dominican-born catcher, Gary Sanchez.
from the belt. Kicks and deals. A swing by Sanchez, and this one soaring out into left field. And as Yankees fans here on television quite frequently, see ya! A three-run shot down the line in left, number 10 for him on the year, and it's now 7-4. Ball's jumping in this one. That's the fourth to leave the yard so far. Matty V, this is just one of those days where the ball seems to be flying. Dero, the hitters are on point. The pitchers aren't making very good pitches. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's all about executing pitches, and they're not doing it today. They're leaving a lot of balls over the heart of the plate. And this offense, both offenses, are taking advantage. Trevor Richards will come out and take the ball here as he'll be making his 15th appearance of the year. So now to the plate, Mike Ford. The first baseman. He'll swing and lift a ball foul Ford. off to the left and out of play. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. One one home on the ground and right at the shifted infielders throw in time and the side is retired. Ladies and gentlemen another look at the big blow for the Bombers a three run home run get up and stretch it's the Yankees seven the Rays four. Zach Britton gets the call from the now pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 53, Zach Britton. Last half of the seventh here. Striding forward now is the DH. Joey Wendell last time through was a base hit. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here 0 and 1. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make him try to bring the ball in the strike zone. 0 1 count. Here's the pitch. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. To two balls and two strikes now. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Judge is on the move. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Now batter. No left fielder. Jose Martinez. One out now in the Tampa Bay seventh. And up next will be the right handed hitting Jose Martinez. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Back up the middle. Gets dirty and gloves it. Hats off to that one. Oh man, once it got past the pitcher, I figured it was a base hit, but then the shortstop comes out of nowhere to make the diving stop. That was incredible. Now in the box, Austin Meadows. He was given a free pass via the intentional walk last time. And they'll have to kind of come after him this time. No good reason for walking him right here. And a slider tails outside for ball one. Britain's ready. Here it comes on 1 0. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. Two and one now. And 
And now pitch on the way. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. Rays go in order. One, two, three. They're on the short end of a 7-4 score. Digging in, Miguel Andujar. He'll have the first crack at it here as we start inning number eight. Miguel Andujar. The pitch. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Hit out towards second. Uh, it's flagged down deep in the hole. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now batter. Well, this has the been a bullpen down. game for some time now, but let's go back and review the performances of the two starters, neither of whom turned in an outing to remember. Ready now, Tyler Wade. It was a walk in his last trip. Here comes the first pitch. Bounce to first. Scooped up. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Ready for another shot now. Brett Gardner. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A ball and no strikes. The 1-0. Swing hard liner to left center. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They hold a 7-4 to four lead. Chad Green is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 57, Chad Green. Leading off for the Red, the second baseman. Number At the eight. plate, Brandon Lau. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Here comes the 0 1. And he lays off for ball one. Two and one. set and the 2 1 pitch line toward right center Gardner is there and he makes the catch for the out good contact to start well out the inning thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit but it hung up there too long just unlucky that time digging in G man Choi
ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. High in the air out to center field. After it is Gardner. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. The batter, number one. Good stop. Really. A double. In now, Willie Adamas. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. And this one runs up high. Ball one. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. And oh, looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. Two out, nobody on. A ball and two strikes to the Rays shortstop. The one two gets him swinging. He struck him out. Down in order go the Rays. They're on the short end of a 7 4 score. Which has Rome. Enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Settling in now, DJ LeMayhew. He singled his last time up. The second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. First pitch on its way. Rowe was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right hander. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. Here it comes. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Nip the corner, two and two. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking heater. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. To the plate now, Aaron Judge, as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ball game. One and zero oh pitch on the way, a ball and a strike. That's not a pitch he misses very often. He knows he should have done something with that one. One out, nobody on. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. And now we'll see some action in the bullpen as the lefty starts to get loose. The one two. Ball. 
And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Don't go too far. The dangerous Giancarlo Stanton gets his shot next. Bases are empty, one man out. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. The batter, the designated hitter, Giancarlo. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. Set. Here it comes. Now started to go down after it, and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. And he watches a called strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. Nothing in two count and the pitch and now a slider in there for a called third strike and there are two gone now. That's what you call now, clipping the outside the corner. Move. Great Mike. movement on that slider Talk. and it completely locked up the hitter. Didn't fool the umpire though. At the plate now Mike Talkman. And he lays off there 1 and 0. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 1 0. -oh. Two out with the man at first. A good action on the two seamer there and it's one and two. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches anything on the outer half of the plate is going to look a foot outside. The one two. Hard hit ball to second. And that's through for a hit. Oh, but the feet of the second baseman is a wild one. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Dan, now this back. guy's on fire. I used to say all the time it's about 150 ABs to 200 ABs where you start figuring out what type of season you're going to have. He's obviously in May and he's on fire. You're a D -row. He's been locked in from day one of this season. It's continuing right now. Anything that is around the strike zone he feels he can get the barrel to it and he continues to hit line drives. Nick Anderson takes over now with two gone here in the top of inning number nine. In now Gary Sanchez as he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Two and one to count. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Three and one now. And I think he wanted to know where that one was. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. And it's fouled away. And 
and he struck him out. So a good pitch there, and now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at-bat if they want to get back in this thing. No runs, a hit, two left. So nothing in the Bombers' ninth. Last chance for the Rays. They're down three. It's seven to four. So with a safe situation on tap, they'll hand the ball over to a formidable force indeed. The very hard throwing left-hander Aroldis Chapman. At the plate, Yandy Diaz. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. Not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. One and one. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Chapman, nicknamed the Missile for obvious reasons, he's in year one of a new three year deal. And a big swing and a miss here, two strikes. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. Into the box now, Kevin Kiermeyer. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. He's two for three and looking for more here. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. And it's a ball and two strikes to Kiermaier now. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. The one, two. Doesn't catch the outside corner. It's a ball. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Well, you have to feel pretty confident about the way this one's going to end up as a manager. Two hitters, two strikeouts from the closer. There's not a whole lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. First pitch of the at bat. Little too much bite on the slider that time, taken outside. A little over anxious that time as it's a ball and a strike. Chapman's ready. Here's the one and one. Down low, two balls and a strike. And this is swung on and missed, so now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. That's just a great pitch right there, great execution. He just got that hitter to think that pitch was knee high. Nasty diving out of the zone. Tampa down to their final strike in this one. Okay. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. You know, you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on a three-two count. With the three-run lead, no one on base, this is the perfect situation to do it. No reason to nibble and possibly set up a big inning. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over.
you can just see that the confidence is radiating off of them out there right now. That's six wins in a row, and this looks like a train that's not about to slow down anytime soon. 7-4 to four is the final score in tonight's game. The Yankees used a three-run seventh to help propel them to the win. Masahiro Tanaka earns his sixth winning decision in this one, picking up 11 strikeouts along the way. Aroldis Chapman closes the door for the save, his fifth of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.